Hi everyone, this is Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today, of course, um, you know, like usual, I have a couple of people here with me. My mom is here and my husband is here. And, well, at least one of them wanted to say hi. Hello. Hello, he says. Hello. And my mom just said hi, too. And, well, my husband also talked me into going to Michael's. And they actually had some diamond dots that I haven't seen before. Like, that definitely weren't there last time we were there. Um, so, he got one. And, listen, miracle of all miracles occurred. I did not buy a diamond painting. Or <laughs> let him buy me a diamond painting. So, um... Yeah, I was upset. Yeah. You were not upset. But anyways, this is the one that my husband picked out um, from Diamond Dots. It is a Thomas Kincaid. I'm just now noticing that. Um, it is... Here's the design area and the dimensions. So it is essentially a 40 by 50 for drill size. A little bit bigger if you count the whole canvas. It is round. Destroying the box, but that's all right. All right, there's the stuff. Got the stuff. They put their drill kit with the drills. And, honey, you were asking if there's an AB. I can tell you that there's at least one because I can see it. But we will talk about that in a little while. I'm just going to get their toolkit out. Their toolkits come with a pen, bags, a caddy of wax, oops, a grippy, and a boat or a tray however you want to call it so that is pretty standard i cannot actually recall if their square kits come with tweezers they might um but i don't remember and you know um for diamond dots if it's a square they actually say diamond dot squares written on them so if it doesn't say squares then obviously it's round so <laughs> Um, we'll look at the drills after we look at the canvas. The canvas is, in my opinion, it's vinyl-y. Um, so it takes a little bit more to make it lay flat than, say, your Diamond Art Club. It kind of, if you have a Dreamer Designs, that is exactly what the canvas reminds me of, is the Dreamer Designs. Um... I'm just rolling it the other way off screen and I'm probably going to hold on to it for a minute. So this is called America's Pride and it is uh, from 2003, a Thomas Kincaid, according to this. And there it is. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Yeah, you're not, you're kind of seeing the most of it. So... It is, obviously, it's the big, huge flag with, there's the Capitol building in the background and the uh, Washington Monument in the background. So I just thought, uh, very patriotic, and today is, of, is the 4th of July, so this was a good day to purchase this. There are 37 colors, and... Diamond Dots does not use a uh, DMC codes. They have their own numbering system that you see there. So if it's a number in the 8,000s, it is a regular drill. If it's a number in the 5,000s, it is an AB. So there is one AB, and it is a white AB. And that's what I saw. But let's see all of the coolers so here I'm going to flip them around so you don't see the big strip we have a blue a big bag of this light mauve that looks like it's probably going to be in the sky maybe a gray a very light yellow 
some greens, some reds, and some more grays. Some tans, very neutral palette overall red, bigger bags of gray, it looks like black, blue, another big bag of pink. Let go. Here is where the blues are hiding, and then the greens. More pink, more neutral, a bigger bag of a little bit brighter of a yellow, and more pink. I wonder where that yellow is going to actually go. Canvas, everything looks like it's, you know, a browner color on the canvas, but it must be going to be yellow, I guess. Here is the AB, which is an Aurora Borealis diamond. It has an iridescent coating on top that makes them sparkle more. It is, well, see, I think sometimes ABs on camera don't pick up really well because I see almost as much sparkle on this normal brown as I do on the AB. But this one is the AB. Then we have a brown two bags of this peach color, a red, another brown, gray, more pink, and another neutral. So it is really bothering me that I don't know where, I want to know where this yellow is going. <laughs> A29, which is I. It is... <laughs> that's a pretty sized bag of it and I'm not even seeing where it is where are you I'm over here where are you I'm over here okay I'm not talking to you oh uh, wherever you are cause it's not an eye <laughs> I'm looking at the simple side uh, <laughs> it's it's a um a line a horizontal line so yeah it is it's in here. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. I've told somebody in this house all day that I needed a nap, and you know I haven't haven't gotten to take one. So now I want to know where this peach goes. That's thirty five. That's F, and that's where. So okay, it is all this. So the Fs are with the the lines, not the eyes, the lines. So that's them. All right, and then I'm betting that everyone wants to know where these white ABs go. And there is, I'm just going to bring the canvas up. There's a little bit, it's the symbol for that is a dot. So there's some right there. And there's going to be some scattered throughout the flag. Like a lot of the stars in the flag are white ABs. And then there is a bunch of white AB into the sky right off the flag. And that's pretty much it besides in the clouds. So, but I think this will be a cute, this is a nice painting, especially for today. So just let me know what you think of it. And, oh, I should test the stick for you. Oh, it's sticky. This feels like a thicker piece of um, plastic, too, but that might just be because of what painting I'm working on right now is like from a, like from Amazon or something. So this might be feeling more luxurious than what I'm currently doing. So but anyways, I hope you have a lovely day and happy fourth. If that is something that you celebrate, have a good one. Bye.